It's a little hard to hear in this week's gospel that as Jesus' followers, the world is going to hate us. Being hated by a world full of painful and deadly weapons doesn't sound terribly fun to me. And yet there it is, front and center, in John's gospel. The question is, what does it mean? It's often been taken to mean that we as Christians need to take bold stances on any number of issues and refuse to back down in the face of opposition, even violent opposition. But I'm going to suggest that this verse actually means something quite different. It actually calls us to a posture where we are willing to yield on every point. We are not willing to jump into the violent fray except on the one central point that we are convinced that God is love, and that love is revealed in the self-giving acts of his Son, Jesus Christ. On all other points, we are called to hold our values, and we are certainly entitled to our individual values, with an open hand, and be willing to yield to a sometimes hard-headed and uncompromising world. Now, this is not great news for us in one sense. The world does tend to hate people who behave in this way. We are, after all, refusing to succumb to a culture of fear and anger. And the world, well, it doesn't tend to like that too much. But the resulting situation is perhaps the only one in which the life-giving grace of God has any chance to break through to shine this glorious light into people's hearts and into dark corners of the world where it has never been known before. So church, I have a question. Are we willing to be the people who are steadfast on the one central point that God is love and that love is revealed in Jesus Christ, but willing to yield on all else, knowing that the world will hate us, but in that hatred, there's a cracking open that allows the beautiful and life-giving word of God a point of entry it might never have otherwise had.